Hi, right, I'm gonna start this video a bit back to front. First of all, uh, welcome to Infrared. -y. I'm gonna show you how to build a basic infrared illuminator. As I said, I'd start a bit back to front, so if you could help us by subscribing to a channel, uh, liking videos, etc., leaving your comments, then it would be a great help. So, several components required, I'll just take you through them. Uh, this is the most expensive part, it's a PP3 9 volt battery holder. Um, so just to release that cap, you flip it out like that. They're about £3, if you do find them cheaper anywhere else, uh, please let me know and leave a comment. Uh, we've got the 3 watt Cree infrared. So that's got a little lens diffuser on it. So just pop, put that back in place. And then you've got a choice. Um, so you've got a tripod hot shoe flash mount or this 360 mount that can be bonded to the bottom. So what I'm going to do, I'll just pop the battery in. So it's got a little bit of weight. So you can see the polarity and the bottom of the case. Just put the uh, battery in there. I'm going to put that there so it gives it a bit of weight just to stand it up. I'm trying to rush this. Right, so what you'll need um, some epoxy resin. I usually use a black permanent marker, a little bit of a trade secret. So get some epoxy. You'll only need a little bit. So, dollop on there. Get in it everywhere. I'm looking around the bin. Just quickly wipe the fingers. So, we've got the resin and hardener. So, the permanent marker. If we, uh, if we just work the epoxy in over the permanent marker, you'll see that it's actually picking that up and instead of being white and drying white what you'll have is some nice black epoxy so you've got to keep this uh slot clear at the back the slot for removing the battery um what i suggest you do just lightly score the top of this with your flat blade screwdriver or a sharp implement just to give it some purchase Make sure it all balances. So. What I'm going to do now is just pick that up. I'm going to apply that just there like that. Um, like I say, you've got a choice. You can use this if you want it to be fixed, or you can use this one, just put a little bit in the hole at the top as well. We can use this one if you want it to be directional. Like I say, the light output from these is it's pretty decent, it's quite modest, it'll light a small room up. <coughs> so make sure you get that nice and central. We'll just pull that back there and hope that it doesn't fall over. Clean this up, so stick it on top of there. It's quite smelly, so put my spatula away. What I usually do is just stick that down, and that's uh, sealed away. Then just gets rid of that smell. So, right, whilst that's drying, we'll get the uh, part of the case, we'll get one of our logo stickers we'll put up on there obviously you can brand them up accordingly right so on the top you'll see positive and negative so on the on the Cree illuminator 
you want to make life a little bit easier, you can pop that off. Um, it's a bit misleading because it says positive on that side. However, I believe the positive is the side that's under the light dependent resistor. So basically what this does is that it'll just save you the energy on the battery um, if there's enough ambient light to light up at night to record. And when it gets dark, it's obviously like covering it over, then uh, that will come on. So, what we want to do is get a pair of pliers and pull in back away in that direction. Pull back away, but just flip up. So you've got a nice dog leg. You can see that. Same again, this side, pliers underneath, trying to get it the same length and flip it back up. At this point, I need to find my solder. So what we're going to do now is just so let me wind the camera down a little bit and get it closer into this. So you've got your uh, dog leg joints. Just going to tin these with solder. So there's a nice fillet of solder sitting on the top. So you can see that little blob on each side. And I'm gonna get these and we're gonna tin other side. Likewise on that side. So we've just got just a slight bit of solder. So what you do then is you offer the device up, hold your iron in place, just let that dry off or cool down, shall I say. So uh Try not to move it whilst it's crystallizing. That's a little crack. Then uh, we get this side. Line that up. So you probably know someone with a 3D printer. You can print you a cap that will go over this. Um, we just pop that back into place and uh, basically that's it. So I just move the camera back. Um, I'm not quite sure whether the uh, epoxy's gone off yet. It seems uh, I should be able to use it. That pops into a, that'll only go one way. Yeah, so right the first time. And uh, there's your illuminator. So this part of the device <coughs> can then screw, screw into a tripod socket of any camera or camcorder. And then it's fully rotatable. And then it can be locked, locked off in place. <clears throat> I just want to check that uh, I've told you how to solder it correctly. So you'll just need a screwdriver to ping that out there. If, uh, if I've soldered it back to front, I'll soon let you know because I'll just put the battery in backwards. I think it's flat anyway, the battery's flat, so. Yeah, so you can see that's pretty rigid now, pretty set. So you just use the screwdriver when you want to turn the device off or when you want to change the battery round.
Yeah, so um, I think I've actually told you uh, you can just see the uh, infrared with my camera there. So, um, yeah, I actually soldered it on back to front because at the beginning of the video, I says the positive and the positive shouldn't go together. And that it's actually the, uh, the LDR, the light dependent resistor is positive. So let's just pop that right. We'll pop that out. We can now put the battery in um, the right way. Let's stick that down there. Quite easy to rework. So we're going to apply the heat and pull back off the joint. What was on that? That side, that side. So I said plus. to that side so yeah if you do make a mistake it's quite easy to put right so just let that cool down and then we can uh, ouch <laughs> get this one in place too cover back on so light off and there we have it so I say it's very simple yeah effective so just a quick reminder, um, if you're looking at the bottom right hand corner of the uh, screen, if you're watching on YouTube, then obviously you can press subscribe. Really appreciate if you could do that. Help us uh, keep in touch with you all and keep sharing these videos.